Hey guys, so believe it or not, this Minecraft town took me five minutes to build, and if you watch this video, you'll learn how you can make this just as fast as I can, even if you're a complete beginner. That's right, and it's actually really fun to create too. This is a game called Townscaper. Townscaper is designed to make realistic cities by using an algorithm known as a wave function collapse. To put that in the English, it replicates how cities in real life naturally twist and turn. Kinda like the city of Venice in Italy. I'm starting off by simply just playing Townscaper and having a good time placing structures everywhere. Is this not the most satisfying thing you've ever heard? So great thing about Townscaper is it will actually change tiles near it depending on what you do. For example, you'll notice how the roofs change and automatically look natural based on what is surrounding it. Alright, I think I've made a pretty nice looking town. Now we're ready to convert it to Minecraft. So what makes Townscaper special is you can actually save what you made as a .obj file, which means it can be exported and used in other programs. I'm going to save this to my desktop and name it Townscaper1. I'm going to open Blender and quickly import the town. Very important, you're going to add a square plane underneath it, and it will allow me to control the thickness. I'm now exporting it as a .obj file again, and this time I'll name it Townscaper2. I'm now going to show you some forbidden building knowledge. This site URL here called Drububu does does the same thing that my Binvox video does that I uploaded a year ago, but is much easier to use and less time consuming. Here's more spinning satisfaction for your eyes. So I've spent the last 10 minutes giving into my natural ADHD tendencies and now I have to focus. I'm gonna open townscaper2.obj in this. I'm going to set the thickness slider to 1. I can also choose how large my town is. I'm going to go with a size of 240. Then I'll click save as schematic and load this in my world with the world edit mod. Big problem here though, it doesn't look very good. This can be fixed with some magic. For those unfamiliar, world edit allows me to target massive areas for mass edit. I create an editing box of an area by typing these commands and selecting the entire town. I'm making a little cross here for this genius magic move. I'll make a little magic cross here, then I'll type slash slash overlay dirt. You'll notice the top of my town buildings are now covered in dirt. Pay attention here, this is very important. We now type slash slash cut dash m dirt, then slash g mask air. On each surface of the cross I made here, you can make this cross anywhere by the way, just make sure the town is selected. I will then type slash slash pace, and after doing this five times, suddenly, your entire town has a roof. Not bad, right? How am I going to smooth these ugly walls though? I got an easy answer. We're going to type slash gmash hashtag expose now. To not crash my game, I'm setting my render distance to 2. I replaced cobblestone to sand. I'm lagging, but it's okay. My PC can take it. I hope. After my computer is done frying eggs, I'm going to type slash slash undo, then type slash slash replace cobblestone sand again. If you haven't noticed by now, the falling sand is smoothing out the buildings. I rinse and repeat this process until the buildings are smoothed out. We now have this ugly dirt everywhere on the ground, which is a new problem. I wish it looked like something nicer. I'm going to make a new selection that targets the dirt near the ground and type this command to change it in the leaves. Very nice, but it gets better. This town needs some color. I'm going to select the lower parts of buildings with world edit and turn it into stone brick and stone. I'll keep some cobblestone strips to make the next layer tough. And not like tough, like literally just the block tough. I'll continue and make the rest above that birch planks. Well, well, this is really starting to come together. These leaves where the canals are supposed to be are annoying me though. Let's remove them by grabbing a weapon and doing some plant control with these two commands I'll show here. I'll click on the leaves I want to delete. This takes about a minute. And voila! You've now got an entire town created in 5 minutes. Even for an experienced builder, this would take them hours. I'll finish this off by adding water at the bottom area. and remove some cobblestone around the edges by hand. Now if I so choose, I'm free to add doors, windows, and a lot of decoration. With a little bit of effort, you can really make this town become alive and look amazing. Thank you for watching this forbidden build knowledge video. Drop a like and subscribe if you want some more. Bye bye!